so from whichever position you abstract alcoholic OH minus can abstract hydrogen with equal ease so then the major product will be decided by the most stable product the position from which if you abstract hydrogen that gives the most stable product that position will give us the major product that means the reaction to see the major product will see the thermodynamics of the reaction right base have to abstract hydrogen it can abstract hydrogen from any position it will abstract hydrogen from that position that will give us the most stable product so the most stable product will be the major product to see the major product we have to judge which product is the most stable now 2 butene whether it is trans or cis that is going to be more stable than 1 butene the reason behind this is in 2 butene the alkene have more hyper conjugation this is 2 butene on both side of the alkene this is alkene on both side of alkene we have methyl group so there are 6 alpha hydrogen to this alkene so the hyper conjugation on this alkene will be higher than 1 butene because for 1 butene we have ethyl group on one side of alkene and we have nothing on the other side from the ethyl group we have this 2 alpha hydrogen and here we have 3 and 3 6 alpha hydrogen so alpha hydrogen is more in case of 2 butene so 2 butene will be more stable than 1 butene now why should it be more stable if hyper conjugation is more because the spread of electronic wave will be more now why resonance offers more stability suppose we have a pi bond here and we have a negative charge here negative charge means completely filled orbital like this now if when we have a situation like this that means when we have a situation like this we have negative charge we have a pi bond then the resonance takes place what does resonance do resonance spread up this negative charge throughout the molecule that decreases the electronic charge density and that increases the electron flow throughout the molecule that brings about stability similar case would be here instead of this if instead of this completely filled orbital we have CH bond CH bond will be formed like this with P orbital of carbon and S orbital of hydrogen and since CH bond is a weak bond the electronic wave are loose here loose enough to get into this orbital so this electronic wave this time instead of negative charge the electronic wave from CH bond like this is coming into the P orbital so it is almost like having a resonance not really in strict definition sense but in a sense of electronic transition as you have in case of resonance similarly you also have in case of hyper conjugation so when you have more hyper conjugation offered to this alkene then the electronic wave throughout the molecule gets very well dispersed decreasing the electronic concentration on one side and that brings about stability that's why when you have more hyper conjugation in alkene when we have more alpha, alpha hydrogen of that alkene that alkene is more stable so nevertheless 2 butene is more stable than 1 butene so if I call it as A B C then B and C will be have been greater content than A or the percentage of B and C will be greater than A surely because B and C are more stable than A now we have to judge between B and C now B and C have equal extent of hyperconjugation 336 336 they are same then we have to look for other factor other factor like what we have like, look we have a very limited number of factors to look about we have to see aromaticity we have to see resonance we have to see hyperconjugation we have to see hydrogen bonding we have to see angle strain van der Waals strain repulsion then we have to see inductive effect this is a limited number of list aromaticity will not be there aromaticity is in ring resonance is not there not, there's nothing else in conjugation no electron lone pair no negative charge no plus charge there's only pi one no resonance hyper conjugation was there that was same in both the cases is there hydrogen bonding no there's no hydrogen bonding there's no hydrogen attached to a more electronegative atom no hydrogen bonding then we come down to van der Waals strain or angle strain now if we if we look at the structure of cis and trans 
then the angle strain is same because angle is 120 degree in both the cases this is 120 degree angle strain is same but van der Waals strain are not the same these two are the these two methyl groups I mean you, you understand very well don't you this this trick is actually this stick means CS3 there's a CS3 on both the sides we don't draw it it's our prerogative to draw it or we don't draw it a simple stick means CS3 group if there is other group then we have to explicitly show that group for CS3 we have the benefit of showing it or not showing it right so we have two groups here CS3 CS3 now they are closer and there will be repulsion there will be van der Waals strain which is not there in transform so generally in general we the transform is mo more stable than the cis form because the transform have less repulsion than the cis form so trans to butene will be more stable than cis to butene so in this case the major product would be b that is trans to butene right this is how you look to the major products it's quite simple and straightforward and easy like you ha you have a diff you have you look you look for how many beta positions are there you draw all the possible alkenes and you look to the on the stability of that alkene the stability of the alkene you can see by number of alpha hydrogen the one which is having more number of alpha hydrogen that is more stable and if in two cases you have same number of alpha hydrogen then you come down to repulsion the one which is having less repulsion that is more stable that gives you the most stable product that also gives you the major product all right so that is the theory of elimination uh, e2 so we understand the mechanism we understand how to draw the product and we also understand how to identify the major product right so let's solve some problems suppose we have a substrate like this and I have I have added alcoholic OH minus on this now I have said you nothing else I've been asked you have been asked to draw the product now looking at alcoholic OH minus you must very quickly understand that this is a base alcoholic OH minus is a base aqueous OH minus is a nucleophile now this is a base now what does base do base carries out elimination so elimination takes place from beta position of the living group living group here is chlorine beta position are two there are two beta positions there will be two possible products probably and then you have to judge on the major product because in exam mostly they'll be concerned with the major product and you have to understand how to judge the major product depending upon the factors that we have studied already so let's see let's uh, initially let's let's draw both the products lateron will be uh, when we'll be um, very much equipped with everything we can draw the major product in the first stroke itself in the beginning let's draw both the products and then judge the major product if 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 we abstract hydrogen from position 2 from this from position 1 from this position then the charge will be pumped into the anti-bonding of carbon and leaving group will leave out so there will be a bond formation in this position so you will have a product like this and similarly if you do it from position 2 you will have a product like this so there are two products you tell me which is major which is kernel uh, which is major the one which is most stable that is major now how do you see most stable you see most stable by the factor which provides stability which are the factors which provide stability number one aromaticity aromaticity is a ring phenomena we do have a ring here is there any aromaticity no there's no aromaticity in both the ring because these two carbons are sp3 hybridized there is no cyclic uninterrupted delocalization delocalization will be interrupted across sp3 carbon so there will be delocalization among these two pi bonds it will be interrupted across these two carbon because they are sp3 hybridized and here both the pi bonds are isolated there will be no resonance at all there is no aromaticity in both come down to the next factor that is resonance is there any resonance in these two pi bonds no because they are isolated in between there is sp3 hybridized carbon on both the sides so electronic wave of from this 
p orbital cannot go into this p orbital because there is no p orbital on this position because if this position is sp3 hybridized there is no p orbital at all so you cannot jump this carbon and come into the orbital this orbital because uh, we require continuous p orbitals and there is no p orbital here so electronic wave from this position cannot go to this position no resonance here here yeah we have resonance because you have p orbital here p orbital here p orbital here p orbital here there are four continuous p orbitals there is no disruption in the continuity of p orbital so there will be resonance in this region these two are sp3 hybridized carbon electron cannot move across this carbon because this carbon these carbon do not have p orbitals so in this region no resonance but in this region you do have resonance no resonance at all resonance which one is most stable do we have to say this one so this is the major product this is the most stable product